Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, as much as Tate and I tried, there's still like a dozen little fish in there that I still haven't gotten out yet. I noticed them in there a couple days ago. So these here, I took, took some of this feed and Marcel was gracious enough to loan me her rolling pin and so since we don't have any uh, fry mash to give these guys they're just getting smashed up regular feed which they seem to like just fine they eat it anyway I don't know if the lights good enough right now for you to see them or not I can get it to focus there we go So they're in there and uh, they're getting fed so I would imagine in a couple weeks we'll be taking those out and I don't know if we'll have the third cage ready to put them in or not but uh, we'll have somewhere to put them if, even if it's directly under the pond. The fish in these are bigger, so they're just getting full-size pellets. I'm going to drain that pit right there because it's leaking so bad now. I can't keep enough water in it to where I'm comfortable that there's enough water in it. So I'm just going to, probably what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm just going to pick it up and just roll everything back into that pit and just transfer. I don't think there's very many left in there. I'm just going to transfer them all into that pit there and be done with it. And maybe I can build up the ambition to get these last little eight or ten, whatever it is in here, out. You know, Ronmar was even even bailing this water out. And uh, I had thought that we'd gotten all the fish out. That's why I was telling him to, to put the water in these other pits. And then I come by when the water has cleared and it's really shallow and I notice about a dozen little little fingerlings in there so got to get them out wanted to kind of show you the activity at feeding time which is quite a lot now I've got to trim this limb down. Can't throw the feed through it. They're a lot hungrier in the evening than they are in the morning. I'm going to have to probably start using a bigger bucket or two buckets here pretty soon because it's kind of seeming like two of these, well, I guess these are two gallon buckets. 
I might say on the bottom. It probably does, but oh, I got mud all over it. This is at least a two gallon bucket. Bunch of fish in this pond. So I talked about I talked to Tatai about it today. And I don't know if we're gonna have time tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. But definitely Saturday. Uh, we're gonna put that other cage in here and it's gonna go right here. about the same size reminds me I've got to get a uh, heating guard net tomorrow I don't want to wait till the last minute I'm tempted to go get him another bucket not like they're leaving it. They would probably eat another bucket. They're all close to the surface and wondering when the next scoop's going to hit the water. That's it, boys and girls. Yeah, bigger bucket or a bucket and a half in the morning and a bucket and a half in the evening. Fish are doing really well. a big one that hit right there. Yeah, look at all that activity right back there. They're waiting for more feed to hit the water. This is a full bucket. Well, if I give them enough, another bucket now, then I won't have any feed to give them in the morning. So, I'm just going to feed them their normal ration in the, board, in the morning and get some more feed. And increase their ration. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.